Now, here in the UK, zero emissions aviation has edged closer after the government announced over $500 million in private and public sector funding for technologies and research aimed at helping the aviation sector go green. Initiative Fly Zero says it could help establish the UK as a global leader in aviation technology as the industry seeks to recover from the impacts of coronavirus. Well, the chief executive of the Aerospace Technology Institute, Gary Elliott, joins me now. Gary, welcome to the programme. Uh, uh, take me through, what is the, the, the hope here? Well, the hope is very much to get to uh, zero emissions flight uh, as quickly as possible. So uh, what we've announced today is an exciting programme that we call Fly Zero. And the aim of that programme is to uh, look at the concept design and feasibility of building an aircraft by 2030, which would be uh, zero carbon emissions. So very exciting. Um, we'll second about 100 different people from both industry and academia to uh, in, in, within a year to try to come up with that outline concept. So it's very exciting. It's about trying to get there quicker than uh, anybody else has previously uh, attempted. So super exciting and you know really driving the innovation that we have here uh, within the UK. Tell me more about the, the time frame and where we are now. When I say time frame, say for a large aircraft to cross the Atlantic, how far away are we uh, from that? Yeah, so it, what uh, is challenging is uh, trying to get to net zero for the very large aircraft. Um, we do have a, a route map and, a, and a, a, a way forward from that for that, particularly using what we call sustainable aviation fuels, which may be bio or synthetic fuels replacing kerosene, um, along with other technologies, whether it be batteries or hydrogen. So the exact route map um, to get there for the large aircraft is, uh, is not quite um, narrowed down and confirmed, but we certainly can see a way forward. This project is about trying to, to test what we can do, probably at a smaller scale initially. And then once we've proven that technology, then that would clearly be used in the larger aircraft and, uh, and trying to get the overall industry back to, uh, to net zero. Isn't this the wrong time to do this, given the catastrophic place we're at with coronavirus and the aviation industry? No, indeed, the, the very opposite. So uh, I don't know if you're well there. Uh, uh, knowledgeable about um, some of the ventilator challenge work that's happened in the UK through the aerospace industry, supported by Airbus, GKN, um, etc., and Rolls Royce. So, so there, this is indeed the right time to, to innovate, to, to lean in, to spend, to um, drive the economy forward. But, but they're in. Get... I, I know what you're saying, but they're in turmoil, aren't they? I mean, many airlines don't know if they'll exist in six months, let alone twelve months. Are they going to embrace something like this? I think absolutely. So uh, clearly when margins are pressed, uh, now is the right time to have technology that will uh, reduce your costs, but also, you know, meet our sustainability challenges and society's uh, drive for uh, more sustainable aviation. So I, for me, it's absolutely the right time. Um, you know, the aerospace sector employs a lot of people. It pays uh, very well and therefore economically we pay a lot of taxes. So for, for me, now is absolutely the right time to be spending and spending big. Um, it keeps people employed, but it also drives the technology forward in a way that uh, helps uh, improve the environment. Just on that, finally, I mean, there are so many jobs related to the aviation sector. Do you have a number, or even a rough number in your mind about how many potential jobs this could actually generate? Oh, it, it, if in the long run we uh, pursue it and push forward, you know, this could employ thousands of people. Um, you know, it, the supply chain within the UK alone uh, employs hundreds and thousands of people. So uh, for me, this, this could potentially be even uh, more ambitious than that. You know, we could conceive of a situation where we, we build the aircraft here in the UK, which would employ even more people. So you know, if we're particularly ambitious and bold, then, uh, then like I say, we have the potential to create even more jobs, which... Uh, I find personally very exciting. Okay, Gary Elliott, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.